Hi, this is Christina from OfficeToDo.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to enter tables into Office PowerPoint presentation. We have set our agenda, the structure of the show, we have made an introduction to the subject we are presenting, and now we want to add tables containing relevant information. How do we do that? We add a new slide. Let's use title and content. On the field, click to add text, you can see six small pictures. The very first on the top left corner is insert table. Simply click on it and a pop-up appears. From this pop-up menu you have to enter the number of rows and columns you wish to have in your presentation. By default you'll have two rows and five columns. If you are satisfied with the numbers, click OK. In case Later on, you discover that you wanted four columns instead of five, you need to delete one. One of the easiest ways to do this is to click on the cell which is in the column you wish to delete with your right mouse button and choose Delete Columns. The column is deleted. If you select multiple columns by using click and drag action first and choose the very same command, all the selected columns are deleted. The same goes to deleting rows as well. Now that we have two columns, we found out that some more information needs to be on this slide and in this table, so we need to insert more rows. We do this similarly to deleting rows or columns. Make sure your cursor is in the cell which is in the row or column you wish a new row or column to be placed next to. Click with your right mouse button and choose Insert. And from the facing arrow choose Insert Row Below or Insert Row Above. Obviously the first one enters a new row below your current one and the other one above the current row. Columns can be inserted right or left from the current column. Another way to manage the rows and columns is through the ribbon. Go to the Table Tools and from the Rows and Columns section you'll see all the same functions we just discussed. Accessing them through right mouse button can save you time, so it's wise to remember both possibilities. Thanks for watching and see you in our next lesson on OfficeToDo.com. Bye!